want to depp with oh, yeah, the bottle If no money don't call me But the street is messed up uh, No money no no Hello guys Welcome back to my channel today I'm back again with my beautiful queen Emyanom Akwaba Akwaba <laughs> You understand that yeah? yeah? For those of you who doesn't know what that means Welcome we are here to react on a content. I feel so proud about this content, guys, because I am Ghanaian and I'm African, okay? Our motherland needs to grow, and when I see stuff like this, it just encourages me. Guys, before we get into this video, I just want to encourage every one of you guys who are in Europe, everyone who is in Europe, try and work hard, you know what I mean? Work hard and go back home and do something, okay? That's what will help build our own motherland up. The content we're about to react on is a Ghana content and the title goes like this Inside Ghana's new private jet terminal at Kotoka International Airport This is a private company or an individual who has built a private jet company in Ghana Hey guys, if you're a Ghanaian and you have money and you want to buy a jet you can now buy your own private jet Okay? Amazing. It's amazing That's man, awesome. I like it I like, I like to hear stuff like yeah, this, it's amazing Ghana is really growing Not so much like, yeah. and i know it's gonna go it's gonna spread all over africa but i believe ghana is a gateway to um africa based on history based on slave trade and all stuff like that that's why everyone want to go back to ghana because that's a route mm -hmm. and after that it's going to spread all over the place i believe it's spreading now but we don't see as much as we see in ghana yeah, that's right. um i'm talking too much guys <laughs> i've seen some part of this video and this is how i felt inspired to bring it out to you guys so you will feel inspired and not just sit here all your life and do nothing go back home and do something let's watch the video ghana's katoka international airport is expected to officially open its new private jet terminal for passengers today 28 january the new commercial <laughs> private jet terminal will be operated by Ghanaian magnate Dr. Daniel McCorley. By the way, guys, I think the airport was opened um, three days ago. Mm -hmm. I think three days ago. Yeah. yeah. New commercial private jet terminal will be operated by Ghanaian magnate Dr. Daniel McCorley after he obtained an operating license from Ghana's first base operator back in 2019. The business which operates as McDan Commercial Private Jet McDan. Services, once fully operational, will employ more than 400 people. This is what we're looking for, man. That's awesome. It's gonna, he's gonna employ more than 400 people. Nice one, creating jobs. Let's get in it. <laughs> According to a recent report by Billionaires Africa, the I miss private home. jet services will initially launch with three jets and one helicopter. Talks are also underway to add several more aircraft in the coming years as it expands to air ambulance medical and domestic oh. tourism services. Hmm. Okay. In an interview, Mr. McCorley stated that Ghana is opening to the world and executive level travel services are needed to enhance the experience of doing business in Africa. Mm. It's looking beautiful, man. Ghana is looking beautiful. I miss home. Take me home. <laughs> go anywhere you want across the world oh really yeah you can you can just go there and just hop in your own private jet or i don't know how it's gonna work oh. but if guys if you own your private jet or someone's private jet you can go anywhere across the world that's guys let, awesome do you know what i mean pretty awesome i thought it was actually within ghana but that's that's amazing better, like whoa that's amazing okay. not even just africa the whole world mm -hmm. ghana to the world yeah Mr. McCorley is the CEO and founder of McGann Group of Companies. Founded in 1999, McGann Group is an Accra-based transportation and logistics company covering diversified business interests such as shipping, logistics, and aviation. Okay. The company also has a presence in the West African region such as Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Equatorial Guinea. Whoa, that's yeah. big. Yeah. So it links as well, which mm -hmm. is awesome. In an interview with Joy Business, Mr. McCorley noted that every private jet coming to Ghana must pass through the new terminal one. 
The new facility has a VIP lounge, a presidential suite, a crew lounge and flight planning office as well as conference facilities in a hangar. Also available are facilities, but that allows passengers and crew to complete customers and immigration procedures in the same building in addition to a restaurant and in-flight catering. Why the executive <laughs> chairman of McDam Group believes the facility makes it easier for travels across the region and the world for business purposes, especially for people wanting to quickly close deals and get back home. Oh, wow, amazing, man. Amazing. Meanwhile, Ghana's media personality and tourism expert, Ivy Prosper was recently given exclusive access to the new private jet terminal before its official launch. I was invited to take a look at the lounge for private jet passengers. That's nice. And eh? Everything is still brand new. So you'll notice that some of the furniture is still wrapped in plastic having just been delivered. Okay. They're putting the final touches on everything before it officially opens. It is scheduled for the 28th of January. It was a wonderful experience taking a walkthrough to see what's available for people who will be arriving on private jets in Accra. This opening of this new terminal just goes to show you how far Accra has come as far as luxury and high-end clients coming mm. into the country. Mm. That's true. According to Ivy Prosper, Kelvin Mensa, the CEO of Approved Jets and one of the youngest person in the world to own a private jet company, will also operate his lands jet services in the new private jet terminal at the Katoka International Airport. The young entrepreneur mm. Kelvin Mensa made a name for himself as the youngest black private jet broker in the industry. At the age of 21, Mensa began chartering planes for influential people Oof. in various industries. Since then, he has experienced just so hard when you success hear things in like the this. private jet industry. Oh, I cry my homeland! The new private jet terminal in Ghana is without controversies, as some Ghanaian politicians claim the acquisition of Terminal 1 from Ghana Airport Company was a handout from the ruling government. Mm. These rumor was rejected by the CEO of McDan Group in a recent interview with Joy Business. Mr. McCorley maintained in the interview that the acquisition is purely a private business transaction with Ghana Airport's company and McDan Aviation, structured under a lease agreement over a period. He disclosed that Terminal 1 was lying ideal following the decision of the Ghana Airports Company to move domestic flights to Terminal 2. Mr. McCorley noted that Terminal 1 would have been in a deplorable state by now if this agreement has not been reached with the managers of the airport. A lot of business. Mm -hmm. We're talking this, this, this terminal alone, direct and indirect jobs will be not less than uh, 400, wow. four or 500. Well done, well done. God bless you, man. God bless you. That you are offering to Ghanaians. Yes, I mean, straight, straight, straight up. So, well, let's come back to one thing. I knew that under the agreement covering this thing was supposed to be a chartered service uh, partner in the U.S. government and all those things, but now we're having this. What went into this whole private thing? And does that agreement with the U.S. government also still stand as well? No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with the U.S. government. Okay. You know, a lot of people make noise about when I got this terminal, yeah. politics and all that. Yeah, it'd be good for you to clear the air on that one. Yeah. yeah, but this is a straight lease. Okay. Mm. Let me tell you the truth. I drove around here one day and I saw this terminal. So we have terminal one there. So I went back to my office, just wrote to government as what company that can you lease me a terminal one before it rot? That's it. Can you lease me a terminal one before it rot? They were very excited because they were wasting money on this terminal. And so the guys, 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 when I listen to people like this, eh, it inspires me oh, so much. You. See, I was listening to Dangote. If you don't know who Dangote is, he's oh. the African billionaire. Yeah. And when you listen to people like this speak, you can tell the way they think is different from the way most people, yeah. the average people, will think. Yeah. He just saw the terminal one mm -hmm. and exactly. noticed that it's not in proper use. And he said, Can you lease it to me? Mm -hmm. Exactly. If not, this is going to collapse. Business mind is vision. Imagine how many people went past and just saw and, and then just maybe um, insulted the airport, you know, what I mean? did nothing, guys. That's true, you know. <laughs> yeah, they'll just be like, Look at that, dirty, dirty, you know? and then just speak dirty about it. But that's your own homeland, exactly. and trust me, most people will have the money more than him.
and you see it and I just ignore it. Mm -hmm. This is telling us when you see something that is not good, get off your ass and get something done. We all can do it if he did it. Guys, I'm talking too much. Let's go. They were wasting money on this terminal. And nobody was using it. Nobody was using it. And there were leakages. The whole place was running virtually down. Mm. And they gave it to me. I wish I can show you images the first day I got it. I have to refurbish the whole uh, terminal. So whilst I was refurbishing it, there's a company called Flo, not a US and uh, called Flo, through a, a tender. And we were invited to manage the US. Uh, I didn't even know it was a US military. So we tendered for it and we won the, U, the rotation of the US. Uh, and they needed a space to rotate. So we, 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 we gave it to them. Government had no hand in it. Mm -hmm. The US military has no hand in it. Yeah. It's purely our, cap Yera. our capability that let us got what we got. Individual. I mean, Mandan is, is, a, is a big company. company. And they, they noticed that we can do the job. We can, we can manage them. But the terminal had nothing to do with the US. According to Mr. McCorley, Terminal 1 also offers other services That's to beautiful. the public and the business community. This include an air ambulance service and helipad yeah, business as well. That's good. He noted that his outfit plans to offer total aviation services to the public when the facility formally opens. Oh, aviation service as well. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. hey, Ghana in recent okay. years has been investing massively in the aviation sector. After successfully expanding the Katoka International Airport with a world-class new Terminal 3 in 2019, at a cost estimated at $280 million, the new airport is classified as one of the best in the West Africa region. The airport has a capacity to handle up to 5 million passengers a year, with expansion potential of up to 6.5 million passengers. Come on, let's go! The country is currently constructing a new international airport in the country's second largest city, Kumasi. The project, valued at about $250 million, comprised the extension of the runway from 1,981 meters to 2,300 meters to accommodate Boeing 737 to 800 series aircraft. There is construction also ongoing for a new two-story ultra-modern terminal, construction of additional aprons, restaurants, shopping and parking areas, and Amazing. a ring road around the airport. Amazing. It looks so beautiful, man. Look at... Oh, that's not the area. That's shop right, isn't it? If you enjoyed this video and want more definitive information about exciting trends in Africa, make sure to subscribe to our channel. So guys, the channel that dropped this video is the new African channel. Go and check them out. They have amazing videos. Subscribe and then just tell them how good they are doing with their job. Um, what do you think, babe? I think the project that's going on is really, really good. And the project so, is even finished three days ago. Oh yeah, sorry, I said going on, finished. And which is apparently, even... he's bought his own private jet already. Oh really? Yes. Wow, that's sick, you yeah. know? Mm. Honestly, I think I'm really amazed to see how far Africa is coming and especially Ghana. You never used to hear stuff like that, but mm. now it's just progressing so that's much. Right. So I think it's really good mm. and it's going to help a lot of people to yeah. move around because I've heard so many things about the airport, how busy it can get. Okay, but, but, hey, is that what you want to talk about here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. So having a private jet company is just really useful. Yeah. I know people like you definitely want to go and use it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? When you have the money, it's all safe, man. It's amazing. It's just experience. It just makes you feel proud. See, like guys, I live in Europe. I'm Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. But when I hear things like this, it makes me feel proud about my That's country. So cool. Like people like me, it does encourage me to work hard. That is a lot there that I can go back home and do. What about you? There's a lot you can do. God has deposited a lot in you. And if you are in the right position, if you have the ability, if you have the power, guys, don't sit in your ass. Please, let's go back home and build our motherland the same way we love this country where we are. So that when they come to our home, they will feel proud as well. Okay? We need to build our land. That's true. You know what I mean? We need to build. I know what I'm talking about. I've had so many things walking around in Europe and stuff. And guys, yeah. it's just not good.
good to hear. You know what? A lot of foreigners leave their countries and come into Europe to build, mm. to help the economy, to build mm. the country. But we don't actually think about going the back same thing to our country, and mm. we just criticize it, and people talk bad about it. Mm. But it's a beautiful country, and there's right. so much to it. That's right. That's right. You're right. Yeah. That, that's really true. And guys, the only thing I've got to say here is God bless Magdan. Magdan for what he's done. I know he has opened the door. He's not, a, he's not going to be the only one. He's not going to be the only person. Personally, I'm here. I'm going to do my part as well. Back home, start thinking to go and do something. And I'm giving the credit to the Ghana government as well. Okay. Why? Because they allowed him to do it. If they did not allow him, he couldn't, we, we couldn't have achieved this. We would not be talking about this today. So guys, why did they give it to him? Reputation. That's one word that he said. He says, they knew we can get it done. Mm -hmm. Which means the reputation is good. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're doing in life, you need to check it because it will come back in the future. It's a record. It's you're a record. Right? It's a record. So uh, I'm, I feel inspired. Yeah, I'm very inspired. Very inspired. <laughs> guys, let me know about what you think. Do you have anything else to say there? No, no. Feel free and let us know what you think about this Ghana airport, private jet airport. I'm about to buy mine. Yes, don't yes. ask me how. I will buy it. I will buy my private jet. This is encouraging me. Guys, you will buy it as well. Amen. And we will all go home and build something good Amen. for our families, our brothers, our sisters that we left behind and sitting here that we, we are okay. They are not okay. We got to go back and take care of them. God bless you. We'll see you next time and stay safe. Go to the pia boy the we, If no money don't come in But the street is messed up uh, No money don't know But I'm up for loot for the money uh, If no money don't come in But the street is messed up uh, No money don't know But I'm up for loot for the money